Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to be talking about adding a simple animated camera to your game here in Pico 8. I have a guy that walks around, picks up a pickup. I don't have any collision yet, so he can walk on water, but <laughs> but let's say we want the camera to follow him. Well, it's pretty simple in Pico. I'm going to do this all in a new tab just so we can not be overwhelmed by all the other stuff here, but I'm going to add a custom function to our draw function here. And so after we draw everything, I'm just going to say D cam like that. And I'm going to use this function over here in this new tab that I've labeled camera. I'll say function. Now you don't have to put it in a separate function like this, but I like to generally break things out into their own little functions, put them in separate tabs and everything. It just makes things easier. And here's the magic. All we do is type camera and it turns green because that's a built-in function of Pico. And the camera function takes an X and a Y coordinate. So all we have to do is tell the camera where to be. So if we say camera zero, zero, and then we run our game, nothing's really gonna change because the camera's always at zero, zero if you don't have a camera, right? If we said camera zero, 32, and then ran the game, our camera moves down and our guy starts off screen. All we have to do is replace these numbers with variables that we can move around. So what happens if we use our player? Because I do have a player set up as a table here. So we could use player.x, player.y to get the position of our player. So if we want this to follow our player, we can say player.x, comma, player.y. But something interesting is gonna happen here. Let's save and run. Our player sticks in the top left corner, which is almost what we want. What we actually want is the player to be in the middle. So we'll just offset this camera position by 63. We'll just say minus 63 and player.y minus 63 like this. Save, run, and now he's in the middle. Look at that. Look at that. Good job, guy. And now we have our camera following our player. Pretty cool. In fact, he's not quite in the middle. We should actually add eight to this to make him kind of in the middle here because it's a 16 by 16 sprite. So now there he's like right in the middle of the screen. Just a little bit of math. We should really put a bridge here unless, you know, he's, well, someone pretty special from history. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's really the basics of how you animate a camera as you just update your camera position based on your player or whatever you want the camera to follow. But we do have a problem here. You see our donuts count moves along with our map, which is not ideal. So how do we deal with that? Well, let's do a couple things here. First of all, why don't we make each of these a variable? Let's say CX equals something and CY equals something. CX is going to be this right here. I'll just cut that and paste it. CY is gonna be here. Cut, paste, CX, CY. Nothing should have changed, totally works the same way. At the very beginning in our init, we need to make sure we give these an initial value, CX equals zero, CY equals zero, and that'll work just fine. But we can use these variables to adjust anything else. So we could go to our pickups here where we're printing our donuts, and instead of at 10, 10, let's say CX plus 10 and CY plus 10. So now we have the donuts kind of sticking to that top corner because every frame, what happens is our camera looks at our player and offsets itself by a certain amount. And that label up in the upper left looks at our camera position and offsets itself from that. So it's all relative to each other. And the effect is that we have this kind of UI that floats over our map. So that's a basic moving camera. Hope it makes sense. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think and consider subscribing if you want to. If you have any requests or questions about Pico 8, let me know in the comments because I'm going to be making some more videos. I hope you have an amazing day.